Now this is a map of a place called Desolation Island. This is a fictitious place. So, and we want to find uh, the bearing of four different places from a place called Lookout. So this is Lookout. This is the pirate's landing. This is the flagpole and the skeleton and buried treasure. So the question is use protractor to measure these bearing from Lookout. Now, to find bearing, you need to know, or well, there are basically three conditions. First condition is it's always, the first condition is it is always from the north. Always from north. That's the first condition, always from north. Second condition is, or the second rule, the second convention is it's always measured from uh, the north clockwise. So it's always measured from the north clockwise. And the third convention is we always write them in three digits. So let me go over these three conditions in one example. We want to find the bearing of pirates landing from lookout. Uh, using a protractor. So the first thing is, well, whenever you're do doing north, it's always facing upwards. Okay, so this is how you draw north. So this is the north from, so this is north, so it's a good practice to write N there. So this is north, and then we have to draw a ray, and make the ray as big as possible so that you can read the read from the protractor. So let me get an electronic protractor. And basically students struggle to read the protractor. Okay, so let me delete this. Let me get a new protractor. Let me and make it bigger. Okay, so this is, you can read the protractor from outside or from inside. Now, the way in which you read is depending on where, which you consider as the, as the base or the reference. So I'm going to move this and move this here. And first, let me make it, the center of the protractor is, should meet with the lookout or the reference point. And the zero, I'm considering this to be the, this line to be the reference line. So let me move the protractor slightly and match the zero with this line. Okay, so this is zero. So this is zero degree. So you're reading the inside scale. And so this is 40 and so this is 45 or 46. Okay, so slightly more than this is 46. I can't draw there. So this is 40 and 46. So let me delete it now. So delete. So the bearing of pirates landing from lookout is 46 degrees. So you write not, you don't write 46, you write 0 for 6 degree. Okay, so this is how you measure the uh, bearing of one place from a given place. Okay, let's do one more. We want to find the bearing of skeleton from same lookout. Okay, so let me all right, let me move it like this. And so this is skeleton. We want to find again the same way. You have to measure this angle or this angle is what we want to, this would be the bearing. So the bearing is this angle. So you can either measure this angle or you can measure this angle. This angle, say so let's say that is say X, so this angle would be 360 take away x. Now before you measure, it's always good to estimate that angle. So, well, if this is zero, this is 180. If you go right below it, 180, and this is 270. So it'll be between 180 and 270. So again, let's get the protractor and move this protractor down and make this a bit bigger. And then let's move it, okay, and then let the center of the protractor meet with lookout. And let's, a zero, let's move the zero here, 
this way. Okay, so this is your zero. So we are reading this angle. So we are reading the inside again. So you're reading from here. So this is zero degree. So this is 120. This is 130. This is 125. 126. 127. So I would say this angle is 127. So I would say X is 127 degrees. 127 degrees. So the bearing would be 360. Take away 360. Take away 127. Don't need a protractor. So this is 3. So if I take away 2 is 3. So 233 degree. Okay, so that is, uh, you don't need to be exact because when you're measuring with a protractor, there's always an element of doing an error of plus or, one, uh, my, uh, two, plus or minus two degrees. So this is, this bearing is 233 degrees. The bearing of skeleton from lookout is 233 degrees. Okay, so now the next is, you want to find the bearing of, of buried treasure. Same way I'm going to highlight this and move this line. So this is the buried treasure. Now we want to find that of flagpole. Yeah, flagpole, sorry. So this is the flagpole. So let me delete this. Okay, so here, yeah, this is the bearing, this angle from again from the north to this place. So this is what we want to find. Again, get the protractor, move the protractor, I'll make it slightly bigger, and move the center. Okay, so let me again move this. So I'm going to consider this to be the reference. You can make it smaller slightly, and say let us move it. Okay, so this is zero. So again, we are re reading the inside. And so let's make it bigger. So this is, this is 140 degrees exactly, I think so. So from zero, can you see this line is going 140 degree. So the bearing is 140 degree. Okay, and finally, we want to find the bearing of the buried pressure. Again, I'm going to move this line, and here we go. We want to measure this angle. We want to measure this angle. Actually, so let's say this is Y. This is Y, the bearing is from the north to the place, so this whole angle. So this angle would be 360, take away Y, whatever that Y is. So again, Get the protractor, get the center at lookout, and let me uh, move the protractor. Let me make it slightly bigger so that you can see the readings and move it. And I'm going to, again, I'm going to take the, let me move it again slightly. Perfectly, it should line up with the zero. So the zero is inside. So this is your reference. So this is 60. And this is 65 or 66. So let's say this is 66 degree. Why is? Again, this is 0, 10. You are taking this as 0. This line is 0. And this line is meeting between 60 and 65 or 65 and 66. So you can take 65 or 66. I'm going to take 66 degrees. So this Y is 66 degrees. So the bearing would be 360 degrees take away 66 degrees because one full turn is uh, 360 degrees. So this is 4, 6 plus 4 is 10, so this is 5, so 9, so 294 degrees. So let me get, check it on the calculator, 360 take away 66, sorry, 360 take away 66 equal 294 so the bearing is 294 degrees